welcome to this lecture so in the previous lecture we implemented this all of the list to extract the mario that is our character uh, mario that is our character from this sprite sheet so now let's add this mario seeds and basically we have already added this mario sheet over here by loading this load image and if you see here that is it is here so inside this sprite sheet so after that what you're gonna do next is we'll just make use of the rectangle in order to extract the sum part of this spreadsheet so let's do that so this now will be images for normal small mario so let's make that so the first thing what you're gonna do here is we'll just get the image and just make a rectangle in order to get that so first we'll say lay self dot right that is basically we're saying get the right mario right position the mario here and small here that is we want small and that should be normal frame this one so right small normal frames and in this list let me just append so what should be appended self dot get image it should be get image and now what are you gonna get so let me see we haven't implemented this get image first so go back here it should be somewhere here but we haven't implemented so let me just implement this get image method in order to get the image for us so let's make down here that should be self get image and it will take the self that would be the current so let me see it should be here should be right here so that should be obviously the self the current object and similarly we'll just pass a x and y width and height so let me say xy width to extract and height when you pass this what are you gonna do inside this get image so firstly we'll just get an image from this surface just passing this height and width that will be from surface call with the tuple so instead of tuple let me just pass your list here so it doesn't really matter but uh, width and height and uh, just create the rectangle and I've already said you that we'll just make a rectangle in order to extract these elements and that would be from let me say it's just create this first use this image surface basically and this get rect and now it's time to bleed that image so that would be somewhere let me just make any space more space here after that let me just bleed that image with this bleed function and that should be self dot sprite should be self dot sprite and sprite sit and give as a center o and o that would be the destination and just give a tuple again here and in this tuple we want to make an area so that means we'll just pass x y width height so this basically x y is the position and width and height is basically the parameter so that is width and height here so after that we just made down the image to blith next thing we'll just set a color key that will be our black color key so that would be set color key and just give a color here as in c dot black so this image should be transformed with an scaling factor from this pi game module that would be a pz here and just call this transform and escalate so scaling should be from somewhere that is first let me say the surface to be scaled that is surface and inside this tuple what you're gonna have is we'll just make an rect here and width so get the width first and multiply it with the c dot size multiplier so we have this constant here made it this constant dot py and you can see the size multiplier here is 2.5 so anything between 2 to maybe 3 
is okay here so you can just work it you on your own that is size multiply so next thing will be here the width so width is already assigned this should be height now so height should be like rect so get the rect and the width that is height part and just multiply with the same that is the size multiplier and this is our tuple so if you see here that can be something that is the size multiplier is basically and float so in order to convert that into the integer what you can normally do is you just typecast it so let me say it should be typecasted first and similarly it should be also typecasted so typecasted means here just converting float to an integer so next thing what you can do here is just return that image after scaling just return that image so we'll make use of this get image function and we'll just work with this image now and just get that image from this sprite sheet so in this get image the first one is x and y that means x and y is the position so let me give 178 and 32 so if you wonder so what we are really extracting so that would be small normal frame go here and check for a small normal frame would be somewhere this so we are just extracting like this one and it is somewhere in the position that is 178 to one uh, basically so 178 and 32 now it's time to get the height and width so height would be 12 and that's 12 is width basically and height would be 16 here and this is basically if you see here this is right oh right over here so next thing what you can do after this is let me see here we haven't yes we have already appended here now the next thing what we will do is we'll just uh, use this same that is the same frame but we'll just make now use of let me just copy it and paste it here and show you what we're really gonna do here so that would be same as right small normal frame and we'll also append that and we'll also get the image at the position that would be 80 and 32 and similarly it should be 15 and 16 so this basically this one is for right walking this is for right walking one and if you wonder so what is this one so you can just check in the sprite and just look for this position so next thing what you can do is we'll just use the same that we write small normal frame and in this case uh, let me just copy all of this now so we'll use this for the multiple time so let me just copy so we have already copied that so let me use that maybe for let's say seven times so this should be three four five six and seven the same code basically so we have now right to walking mario now next would be somewhat like right walking two that would be within position 96 and 32 16 and 16 so this would be right walking two now so this is the next walking and that should be two here and you can just sort this position and the next will be basically right walking three and this would be right jump right skid death frame and we'll also make one more that would be for uh, transition from small to big and transition from big to small so let's change this one now so it would be somewhere let me say it is 112 and this should be 32 and 16 16 so let me just make it also 16 so this is basically right walking 3 and the next one will be right jump so this should be 144 position 32 and it would also be somehow like 16 width and next one is for right jump now 
so this is for basically write skid now so this is skid so for skid what you're gonna do is we'll just set 130 here and this the width now that is a point second point would be 32 and width would be 14 and height would be 16 here and now it's time for the death frame that is this frame let me just give a space here and this for death frame so death frame is at point somewhere like 160 so you can source this position in this sprite and the next position is 32 so let's go to this mario bros and just make it smaller and source first position that is somewhere that is 130 is the x position and 32 is basically for y position so you can just source in where somewhere in this position and that would be your mario's normal frame so that should be not here so it should be some out here so because we are just searching for uh, 144 that means you should go here for x and you should come down for y so after that what you're going to do next is we'll just get that image and the next one will be for the death frame that would be somewhere this frame so it would be 12 and 32 instead of this what you're gonna have is let me just make it 15 that is the width should be 15 and height should be 16 here so now it's time to make a transition from small to big so that means we have now have to make 320 that is the point where we have find this image and it should be 8 here and now we should just increase this that is the width to 16 and height to 24 because we are just making it bigger so after that we'll just make it smaller so that would be somehow like in this position that is into 41 33 and let me say it should be at 16 here and this is basically for the transition between bigger to smaller so let's make few more uh, basically this will be the frame for the flagpole slide so let me just make it as self so just copy this uh, because this will be same as this so let me just copy it and paste it twice here and here in this uh, point we'll just give here is 194 and similarly 32 and width is 12 and height would be 16 so next one will be 210 that is our point and 33 16 should be here 12 width and it is 16 so this one this uh, last one is basically frame 2 of the flagpole side and first one is frame 1 of the flagpole side so we have now this 10 basically images from this sprite now the next thing what you're gonna do is so let me just quickly give you that what we are doing here so we are just creating this uh, get image and we have just created this list from the previous lecture so this was for this small frame list and we just appended this image from this get image function so from this get image function we return the image basically by creating the rectangle which is basically given with this height and width and at this position you just create that image in this sprite and just extract that part of sprite or image and just paste it or append it to this frame so next thing what you can do is we'll just use the similar code for the images for the small green mario so this is basically normal small mario so same goes for the small green mario small red mario small black mario or even for this big one so we have just to implement this code so in order to do that i have just pre-written code here in this notepad so you can just grab it from the resource section let me just copy this and just paste it out here so if you get any confusion here so it's rather easy so it is similar that of previous one just we have here right small and instead of normal we have a green because we need one this green frame now so in the green frame what you're gonna do is we'll just pass the position x and y that which at which we want to make the rectangle and the height and width in order to extract that image and we'll just store it in this list 
and same goes for red mario same goes for black mario and normal big mario because we have created that big mario list even the previous lectures and same goes for here red mario and black and fire mario so after that what we're gonna do next is we'll just make use of these images here and we'll just loop it now so for that i'll just say for frame let me make a new variable is a frame in so let me just comment it out and show you what is really going on here so it is the left uh, basically the left image is frame so if you wonder that basically we have only this right fire frame or only this right one not the left one so the left image frame are numbered the same as the right frame but they are simply reversed so that means we don't have to create this left image manually instead we'll just use this right frame and we'll just simply reverse that so we'll just create the error frame in this self dot basically it should be here right and small uh, normal frame and this is basically just what we are doing here is just creating the left frame here so left frame in order to create this left frame we'll just flip now so that would be like in this new image let me create a new image here and in this new image what you're gonna have is we'll just use this transformation and in this transformation we'll just use this flip method so this flip should be done in this frame and just give the x bool and y bool here so that should be true first one and next would be false here now we have flipped this image that is our uh this flipping in frame so next thing what we're gonna do is we'll just append that image that is a new image to our left one so that should be now left not right and it should be small obviously that should be small and it is normal frames and just append that that is from this append function and just append the new image there so after that what we're gonna do next is for the another image also we'll just create this loop in order to work with now self dot right image right small normal frame here so in this is frame we'll just rotate now and just get this new image again and that should be from flip method and that would be from transformation and flip so give the flip here that would be frame is to flip and similar that of previous one it should be x bool is true and y bool is false so next thing what you can do after this is the fur and this should be for now frame that is for the right small red frame so let me create frame in self dot right is small and it should be red frame now so it should be right small and we have here that is red frame so loop on each of that frame and we'll just create new image so we haven't appended this one so let's append this at self dot or it should be left not right and it should be left and it should be a small green frame that should be here and just append the new image and after that in this case we'll also have this new image after we flip and that should be from this transformation flip and give the surface now obviously surface is a frame and x bull is true y bull is false so after that the next thing what you can do is we'll just append this one even so that should be here in this uh, basically left one and it should be small red frame should be somewhere here and just so we missed it so small red frame and just append this new image to this so after this we'll just loop again for the new frame in our basically black frame so that should be small right and it should be black here it should be right black frame a small black frame and in this small black frame we'll just create a new image again and it should be created from the same transformation 
a flip and just give the frame as in surface to flip and x bool is true and y bool is false so after that we should also append this one so self dot left small and this is basically for the red frame so let me check it should be for black frame basically so it should be small black frame and just append it with this new image and we have now the for the big frame because we have completed for the small frame now the same procedure for the big frame that is for frame in self dot now is right now so right and instead of your small we should have a big so let me just copy all of these that was for the small and paste it here for the big so instead of now small here so let me just type here as a big and now instead of here left small let me just make it as big so here is all the same procedure for the rotation or a flip of our image or a frame so next is to make for the normal frame that is make a big here so it should be small for this because this is a black frame so this should be small and it is also for the black frame so let me make it small again and from here that is from the normal frame we just make small to bigger so make it big and in this normal frame that is for right so basically we have here two normal frame so let me check now again and it is the normal frame normal frame so that shouldn't be the normal frame it should be green frame so second was green frame so let me make this as a green frame should be green frame and in this small green frame normal frame you should loop in this small red frame small black frame normal frame and it should be now a small green frame it should be here small and instead of a small just put a big big frame and here so you should put a small as in big so same goes for the red frame that is making this small to the big and similarly this small should be now big the last one is for the black frame that is making this small again big and again this small should be also made as big so this is basically to get the rotation or flipping of the image that we just appended from here and that could be done from this flipping so because when you flip the right image you get the left image so that was basically the idea here so this will be the wrap for this video see you in the next